Hope everyone's having a good day. Second live of the day. Took some photos and whatever earlier, and now I just got back from the thrift. I'm going to show you everything I picked up at the thrift store, and we got some decisions to make too. I'm going to decide what's going to go up on like Facebook or what's going to go up on eBay and Poshmark, but also going to decide what's going to go on whatnot too. So things will go into two separate piles. Thank you so much for the Heartbeat K Way. What's up? So we got to make. We got some decisions to make uh, on top of showing off what I got. Let me just set this up real quick. Okay, wait, what you up to today, brother? Thank you for the tacos. Non-inspirational comment. Well done. Well played, sire. Thanks for popping in, Kway. See you later, I guess. Your quest is complete. Get some uh, microphone action here. What's up, Leslie? I'm going to put this today. Just got back from Jetson too. Nice. I bet you you picked up some different stuff than I did. Oh, what the heck. How many Robert Grahams and Arcteryx did you pick up? I'm going to cut all these tags off. This is just my normal process when I get back. So just kind of sharing that with you. Say hello wherever you're joining from. Let me know where you're joining from. I'd like to know the weather in your neck of the woods too. It's been a rainy day here in Asheville. Although the rain has let up right now, it has pretty much been raining all day. Uh, heavy at times and just like kind of light at some other times. But at least it's not like a million degrees. Found some Grayson. Sick, man. Nice one. Nice one. I didn't find... I think I, yeah, I got a few like really good items in here, but not, I don't think anything as good as Grayson. Maybe a few things. I honestly forget until I go back through it. So Polo Ralph Warren, nothing fancy here. Nice color on this one. It's the summertime. It's the season for this. I think I'm going to bundle two of these up and put them on an upcoming whatnot show. Stormy right now in Colorado. Lexington and Broad is in the house. What's up? Good to see you. I think here's the other one. Yep. I think it's the same size, size XL, kind of similar color palettes, right? Kind of pastels, both size XL. So I'm going to lock these together. I'm going to throw them on an upcoming whatnot show. So somebody can get a nice deal on two shirts. I feel like they're both nice pastel -y colors. Northern California, 87. I don't know what the temp is here. That's a good question. Actually. Temp is 77 here in Asheville, North Carolina, and the high was 78. I'm imagining we're past the high. Cooler couple days. It's been hot. We've had the hottest temp weather that we've had since I moved back in October. We had over the past few weeks, but not the last couple days, that's for sure. Here's a fun one. This will definitely go up on whatnot. Been trying to do some fun t-shirts for whatnot so we can hit all the different price points. And I think t-shirts are just such a fun thing to shop for. I have fun shopping for them, so I guess you do too. Been doing a lot of local Asheville. I'm calling it like the Taste of Asheville speed round, bringing you some cool stuff from Asheville. But this one is from Bend, Oregon, one of my favorite places to go visit. My good friend Andrew, Andrew and Emily live out there. Bend, Oregon. And this brewing is called Good Life Brewing, which is actually excellent place out there so that's going to go up on whatnot that's a men's uh what is this this might be a next level tag not sure the size yep it's a next level tag it's a, those tags just all bundled up hold on stand by this is a struggle size extra large on that it's a next level tag so athletic fit on that I like those tags. That's the same tag that the Chris at Peak shirts are on. The uh, thrifting is my cardio shirts. So that's one fun t-shirt. That'll be on whatnot, starting at a buck. Everything always starting at a buck. Nothing at two. Everything at one. That's Tuesday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Jen Thrifty Duckies. We got a Pineapple Connection shirt. I typically don't pick up this brand. I've probably picked it up maybe, I guess is twice over the years I've been doing this. And you'll see why I picked this one up right quick. 
what I'm doing is I'm cutting off the tags and I'm buttoning them up, buttoning these up so they can get ready for their photo shoot. I think this will go up on whatnot too. What's up, Vanessa? This will go up on whatnot. Look at the pattern on that. The size is 3XLT. It's a nice big boy shirt, both sides pattern. I think it's a polyester blend. Yeah, 100% polyester. Here's the tag on it. Pineapple connection. I don't always pick up this brand. Most of the time I don't, but when, look at how loud and proud that is. Some shirts are just fun. So that, that'll, that's definitely a, a whatnot type of piece right there. That shirt can speak for itself. Another Polo Ralph Lauren XL. Actually, hmm. this might be a lot of three. They're all XL. Polo Ralph Lauren, polo style shirts. I might do that. I was going to do a lot of two, but I forgot I actually got three of them. This one's a little different color. This is a navy. Nothing fancy. I might do a lot of three. And put that up on. on one. You know what? I'm going to do a lot of two and a lot of one. That one's kind of a different colorway, so we'll do that. Maybe in different shows, too. This is something that I wouldn't typically buy to put up on eBay and Poshmark. Um, I would buy this for myself though. So I'm gonna to try to bring some of those types of items uh, over to whatnot. So we can give people some different price points. I hate to leave behind like a good quality shirt like this. Cause I actually have a few of these like J Crew flannels. Look at the colorway on this. Just a beautiful shirt. Lightweight flannel. It's a J Crew size medium. I couldn't leave this behind. Somebody needs to have that. So got to stay with my commitment of bringing buying items that I would wear and trying to hit a lot of different price points. That's a nice shirt. I would absolutely rock this shirt. It's just going to be a little too small. I'm size large right now in J Crew. So that will go up on whatnot starting at a buck. Somebody needs to have that flannel shirt. And flannel is a little on brand for me. Yep, just got back from the thrift store, brother. This is what I picked up. Here's another brand that I don't pick up a lot, but this brand, they actually sell it at the mass store and some other outdoor stores. And it's a good high quality flannel. It's brand new with tags. Good afternoon, sister Stephanie, what is up? But look at the, uh, the colors on this thing. So it's a men's size small, and I'm going to stay true to a commitment too. I'm going to bring all sizes to whatnot. I'm not going to discriminate against size smalls on there. So you just saw a 3XLT, and here's the other end of the spectrum, men's small. So Stillwater Supply Company. Look at the colorway and like the pattern on that flannel, right? Nick Smith, 114. That doesn't even make sense. Can you select a long time for bidding on whatnot? Sell price would increase if you extend bid time. You can do both. You can do sudden death or you can do just the regular, like the regular bidding. Um, you can, and sometimes you switch back and forth. My first show, I switched back and forth. This past show, I did all sudden death. I have so many teas for my whatnot. I'm excited. That's sick. Tell us about some of the home run teas that you're excited about. I want to hear about it. And you can promo your show. Let us know what time your show is, how people can find you. You do your, your own promo down there, Vanessa. You can promote your own stuff on my show. Vanessa did an awesome show this past Monday on whatnot. Some really cool vintage stuff. Collector stuff, toy stuff, knickknacks, kitschy stuff. Really fun, but she's got t-shirts coming this week, I think. Promo your stuff and somebody can uh somebody you can pin the pin the comment and I'll read it off so people on YouTube and Facebook can hear it as well. Hello, Bobby. What's the weather like? Uh, somebody randomly asked me today at the chiropractor. He asked me, we were talking, I said I was from, like used to live in Tampa or whatever. He's like, what's the, the what's the weather like today in Tampa? Are they getting a lot of rain? I was like, dude, I don't know. I don't <laughs> like, I don't live there. I don't stay in touch with the weather. It's kind of a strange comment. He was a nice guy though. So I need to know what's the weather like down in Florida today. I know you're not in Tampa, you're in Plant City, but let me know down below. Do you know this brand? And actually here's the question. This brand is now known as another brand. Oops, did I not mirror this? 
So nobody told me I didn't mirror this. Tell me what the, the new name of this brand is. They changed their name. Probably smart. They probably would have been canceled otherwise. Hot and rainy down in Plant City, Florida. What's up, Colts Comics? Jeremy's in the house. He's back from work so he can hang out and play with his friends on TikTok. So this is a nice lightweight. I wouldn't describe it as a flannel, but it's a lightweight cotton shirt. Got a nice feel to it. It's an outdoor brand that you'll find at places like REI and different outfitters. Uh, really expensive stuff new. Does anyone know this one? That's it, Trey Day, Toad and Company. They used to be known as Horny, Horny Tone, Toad. Maybe eight or 10 years ago, they changed it. They probably would have been canceled if they kept their old name because that's that's risque, even though Horny Toad is actually, like that's actually a thing. It's a toad, but they would have been canceled, I bet. I have passed that brand, teach me. It's um, It's not the highest end resale brand in terms of resale value. I pick the nicer pieces from this brand and leave behind the not so nice ones. This is a nicer one, nice pattern. This is definitely on brand for Horny, Horny Toad. This is what you're looking for. You know, you can tell somebody that's like an REI type of shopper is going to be into this one. Size large, Horny Toad. That's going to go... Let's think about this one. I don't know. I'm up in the air on this one. I'm cracking this freaking mic today. Jeez, I think so. I feel like the mic's cracked like four different times today. I'm pretty much going to smash this mic into small little pieces and buy another one. So we'll do that soon. Just not today. I got to order another one first. Uh, what do you think? Whatnot or uh, or eBay for this one? I'm kind of, it's going to do well either way to me. So Vanessa on her next Whatnot show, which is Monday, Monday night. I forget which time. Banties, Disney, funny saying, vintage tees. So a lot of fun t-shirts. I love fun t-shirts. So I'll be there. How do you reverse camera on whatnot so graphics show up correctly? I don't know how to do that. If that's a thing, I don't know. I'm still very new to whatnot. So I'm still figuring those things out. If there's a way, I, I don't know. Jay Strickland, appreciate the follow. Welcome aboard. Good to have you. And thanks to all the OGs, folks like Thrifty Duckies and Bobby Humphrey's treasure trunk who come back every single freaking day. Nick Smith, too. He's hiding in the background. eBay or whatnot. Nobody's letting me know. Everyone's just being quiet. 53 lurkers here on TikTok, three lurkers on YouTube and Facebook. Horny Toad, size large. eBay, big e sales says. Nobody else is voting, so. Oh, now we got a tie. We got two whatnots, three whatnots. Sorry, bagging inventory. That wasn't one of the options, Bobby. Whatnot, sorry, walking the puppy. That's not a platform either. Whatnot, okay. What's going on, whatnot? That was easy. Okay, next one. This one is absolutely going on whatnot, and you're going to see why in a second. Ooh, this is beautiful. This is so on brand. Sell it out of the trunk of your car. I've done that. Did I tell you, Jeremy, that I have a, a vintage Samsonite briefcase that I use to carry around coffee and um, coffee and T-shirts? And if somebody wants a coffee or a t-shirt, like one of my friends locally, I will uh, take it right out of the, the take out the briefcase out of the back of the car and make the deal. So this is a vintage Wrangler Rustler. I think it's a XL. I think it says 1734, 35, probably measures like an XL, but look at the colors on this. Phenomenal, phenomenal colors. That's awesome. Uh, this is very on brand peak. If this was my size, it would not be going anywhere. The only thing it has is it's almost like heel drag, but it's not just like a little bit of wear, like on that one sleeve. They were obviously right-handed because the other sleeve is good. So the right sleeve's just got that little hit, bit of wear. Otherwise, this thing is crispy nice. Vintage shirt like this, that colorway, Western Pearl Snaps. That's the one right there. That's 100% going on whatnot because that's the type of stuff I like to bring to y'all. This is a whatnot piece too. Gosh, I did a lot of whatnots shopping today. It's more fun to shop for y'all and whatnot than it is to shop for strangers on eBay. I like doing both, but so here we go. Carhartt right there. So Carhartt Women's Large. This is the Carhartt G-Force or what is it? 
force, Carhartt force, I guess. No G force, I made up the G. So it's slightly fitted. It's a polyester cotton spandex blend. So it's a wicking shirt. It's got a V-neck. I feel like that's a nice shirt. It's got the Carhartt hit down low. It's like a nice piece of wicking summertime piece or like a base layer kind of piece. So that's going up on whatnot. A little something for the ladies. Just a nice basic bottom layer. Another whatnot piece. I'm going to do a, a lot of two of these. A couple of t-shirts that I'm pretty psyched about. In addition to doing like the Asheville local, like Taste of Asheville round, I'm going to do stuff like places that we really like, places we've traveled to, that Kim and I enjoyed. Maybe you enjoy them too. So we're going to do two of these together. I'll show you these. Oh, that's not the right one. Where's your mate? That's not it. Well, I'll show you this one. We'll find the mate when we find the mate. So this is the Green Parrot Bar. It says no sniveling since 1890. It's in Cayo Hueso, Key West. And then on the back, see the lower keys on your hands and knees. So that's a classic. It's a big shirt too, size 3XL. I want to have something for all sizes. So there we go. See the lower keys on your hands and knees. I feel like I might have been to this place. I'm going to Google it right now. It's part of why I bought it. Green Parrot Bar. Oh, well, there's a few locations down there. Maybe that's why. Green Parrot Bar, Key West. I think this is the place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is that place. Pretty sure I'm going to show you. Hey Kim, can you come look at this? Oh, what are you doing sewing? When you uh, when you get a ch chance, can you come look at this? I got this T-shirt from the Green Parrot Bar. I think that's one of those places we went when we were down there the last time. Key West. Anyway, what do you guys say? Not important. I think this is the place. Looking at the pictures. Anyway, Green Parrot. See the lower keys on your hands and knees. I'm gonna put that on whatnot, but it's got a mate, and I'm gonna show you when I find it. It's another Key West or like a Keys shirt that will go nicely with it. And it's about the same size. So next up we got, this is an eBay item, I think. Oh, nice. My new sound panels just got delivered. Sweet. So this is a 100% Merino wool Brooks Brothers, fine Italian Merino. It's a little sweater piece with the collar. It's kind of like a polo shirt, but it's a sweater. You can see it's 100% Merino. Nice piece. I don't pick up all Brooks Brothers, but I do pick up Brooks Brothers when it's Merino and it's in good condition. That's a size large. That's an eBay piece. So this is going to go in the eBay bin. Some of these I'm not sure. I'm kind of back and forth on them. Find another Key West shirt. Here's the other Key West shirt. This one's cool too. I'm going to look up this place. Hope everyone's having a good Thursday. Just got back from the thrift and just showing you what I got. And we're making some decisions here. Jason Hayes, the sensei, is in the house. So we got a shirt that says Keys Life. And it's got what looks like a, I guess that's a marlin. I don't know. I don't really know my fish. Maybe that's a marlin. That's the front hit. And then the back hit is Keys Life. And it says Boondocks, mile marker 27 and a half. Thought that was a really cool back hit. So this one doesn't have a size tag, but I think it's the same size as the other one. I'm guessing they're from the same person. Thanks so much. 
for the follow, Amanda Reeds. Welcome aboard. If you're not already following, why not give me a follow? I give you honest glimpses into my business every single day. I'm live shipping out orders in the morning when I have them, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. I do a live whatnot show every Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, 27 by 30 on that. If you have questions, I'd love to hear them. Yep, same exact size, 27. This one's like one inch longer, but whatever. So they're both three XLs. So that's gonna go as a combo deal, the two of those together. Great place, the, uh, the boondocks, I'm gonna have to look that one up. This one I've been to. This is great, like old timey Key West kind of place. But I'm gonna look up this other one. That'll be a nice combo for someone who, uh, who likes Key West. So this one is Keys Alive. This is Boondocks. Mile marker 27 and a half. Which is a ramrod key. So somebody had a nice trip down to the Keys. So what is this? That's right next to a little torch key. Oh, that's way down there. Southern Keys, okay. Boondocks, Grill, and Draft House. Mile marker 27 and a half. Okay, so that's just south of Marathon Key. That's over the seven mile bridge. Okay, I know right where that is. Wait, did we eat here too? No way. What are the odds? No, no, we didn't go to this one. Cool looking place though. Live music. Looks like a big tiki hut. Oh, they got a little pot pot too. Cool. So that'd be a nice little combo piece. What's up, F Gappa? The Gappa. Badass. G T G D T back there. Oh yeah, you like the dead piece? This is going up on whatnot uh, this coming Tuesday. Grateful Dead, size large, unisex large, plain on the back, contrast three quarter sleeves, raglan sleeve, baseball style tee. Huge Grateful Dead hit, big colors. Really awesome. I love the color and the sleeves on that too. It sets it off. I got a couple of a nice Grateful Dead pieces going up this week. And a hat, which I think is Grateful Dead too. But I'm not sure. Actually, that's a good question. I'll ask you. This is going to go up on the next whatnot. So to me, that looks like Grateful Dead. I don't know if it's like official Grateful Dead. And it's got that. It's got that all... It says all love on the side right there. And kind of like a cosmic print on it. All love on the side, adjustable snapback. And the tag is a big bear tag on that. Pretty sick. So that'll be one of the three. And actually paired with this, you have two of the three Grateful Dead pieces that are going out the door Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. That's a cool hat. Do you think that that's Grateful Dead or am I just sort of drawing conclusions? It feels like Grateful Dead to me. Did I hear a lot of music? I don't know. Did you? You went to it? Were you listening? What's happening on this live? We were just talking about Tiege for a little while. That's what we were doing. Wondering what's up with that guy. This shirt's just fun. If t-shirts kind of make me smile or chuckle, I'll bring those too. This is also in like really crispy condition. It might actually be new. Doesn't feel like it's been worn at all. Who's your crawdaddy? I feel like that's a cool shirt. It's uh, on an important company tag, 2XL. Like really crispy though. This feels like it hasn't been worn plain back. Who's your crawdaddy? You cannot have a bad time in that shirt. You put that shirt on and you're going to have a good time. That's going up on whatnot. I, not this week, but that'll be on a future whatnot show. So to me, that was a no brainer to get that shirt. Somebody will have fun with it. 
trying to make that show hit all different price points. Should you thrift today? Yes, sir. Wells Beach, Maine. I feel like it's a classic vacation shirt. It's classic Maine, like a red, white, and blue lobster, Wells Beach. This was not far from us back when we lived in New Hampshire. Wells Beach was probably an hour and a half. This one's 25 and a half pit to pit. So this is a 2XL shirt. And this one's really crispy too. The tag's cut, but man, it doesn't feel, if it's been worn at all, it hasn't been worn much. I'll tell you that much. It's a classic vacation shirt. I feel like someone will enjoy that. T-shirts are an essential part of every wardrobe, especially in the summertime. All right, next up, another T-shirt. This one's for the ladies. It's a 3X. And the tag is Positive Tees. I like this one. Girl Mom. Razor kind, razor strong, razor wise, razor brave. I feel like that's just a good message. I feel like somebody will wear that shirt proudly. Plain back, nice lightweight 3X tee on that. 60 cotton, 40 polyester, 60, 40, 3X women's tee. That's a nice message. I feel like somebody would enjoy wearing that shirt. Let me know what you think about that. Is there any girl moms in the in the house that would like that. I vacationed in New Hampshire and Vermont last year. Love the White Mountains, the best. Angie, the White Mountains are the best. Although, if you were spending time in New Hampshire and Vermont, you were doing well everywhere. Great place to be, especially up north, as we used to refer to it as. Or I think people probably still do, but up north. Let's go up north for the weekend. Everyone's going up north. You been up north lately? Just language you say up there, up north. That means you're going up to the mountains of the lake. Guns and Roses tee on a modern screen printed tag, a bravado tag, men's XL, one-sided. Just a really cool graphic though. That's why I picked up that one. And this one says Paradise, Paradise City, Los Angeles, California. Appetite, appetite for destruction on that one. Pretty cool. People have been enjoying the uh, the band tees, so that'll go up on a future whatnot. I'm not sure about which one, but a future whatnot. Here's another one for the ladies. This is a this is for a taste of the Asheville round. Taste of Asheville round. Those are my words. This will be for the ladies. A tank top. I had to check the tag. Yeah, XL. So this one will sneak by Kim. Otherwise, if this was her size, this would not sneak past Kim. This would be a Kim grab. It says blame it on the beer on the front and the back is Bear Waters Brewing Company. This is in Canton, North Carolina. I was just there about, oh, two months ago, that day that I went out with Ben and we were, um, we were digging ramps. We stopped here on the way back home. It's a good brewery right downtown Canton. They do nice beer. I like that place. Cool space also, bare water. So that, that'll go in a taste of Asheville round in an upcoming in an upcoming whatnot show. I like to do like a little speed round with some cool Asheville flavored t-shirts. That's a good place. And I'm trying to bring you like good places from Asheville. And a tank top. I don't get too many tank tops when I'm out in the wild. So that's fun to get a tank top for the ladies. Vermont is beautiful as well. Absolutely. You thrifted today, question mark. Yes, just got back. This is what I found. This one, I couldn't put back. Let the shenanigans begin. This one made me laugh. I know it's not like St. Patty's Day season, but gosh, can you imagine the smile, uh, the smiles on other people's faces when you wear this shirt? Like, how can you have a bad time wearing this shirt? This is a Fruit of the Loom tag, lightweight, 100% cotton size XL plain back but how can you not have a good time with those suspenders on there like that's ridiculous i couldn't leave that one behind my judgment told me no my heart told me yes and i'm an irishman myself too so i'm always fond of those shirts we had an irish shirt featured on last week's whatnot show too that went home with gg the shirt just felt right to get to I think everybody knows somebody who needs this shirt. You know someone 
tough old Marine. Everybody knows someone who needs this shirt. Let me know if you know a tough old Marine whose size, well, it doesn't say the size. It's a fruit of the loom tag, we'll measure it. Raise your hand if you know someone who needs this freaking shirt. It's a size XL, be a relaxed fit size XL. Somewhere between an XL and a 2X, plain back, tough old Marine, nice graphic on that. Nice graphic. Let me know if you know someone who needs that shirt. Hey there, Laura, how are you? Can't find the hat, can't find the hats. Can't find what hat? Like that one. Teach, thanks. Can't find the hat. Can't find that. So that'll go up on whatnot. I do have some items that we have decisions to make on. So we'll go over some of those items that we have decisions to make. This one could go either way. This could go on whatnot. This could go on eBay Poshmark. It would perform well either way. This one needs a quick wash before it goes anywhere. Let's get this up here. So it's a Ralph Lauren work shirt. The model is RL work shirt. It's a men's 2X. Men's 2X on this one. Hope everyone's having a good afternoon. Hey, Reisner. Thank you for the Rose, Queen of the Peach State in the house. Good afternoon. This is an unusual live time for me, but I just got back to thrift from the thrift and I have Wanted to show off what I got and get some, we're gonna make some decisions. So this does have a, some spots on the front, but they'll just go to wash right off. It's just nothing. Size 2XL, I'm gonna show you the, first of all, go with the tag first. Ralph Lauren, it's an RL work shirt. I've done well with these in the past. Nice colorway. It's a good uh, heavyweight flannel, kind of mid to heavyweight flannel. Not that like ultra, ultra heavy, but nice classic plaid pattern on that thing. It's got the two pockets on the front the two button pockets. It's called the RL work shirt, 100% cotton, nice flannel. Um, what do you think? Is that gonna be a whatnot piece or is that going up on eBay? It, it would do really well, I think either place. So I'll let y'all choose, I'm easy. Great afternoon. Have you ever had people comment on your posh uh, asking you to email them pics of an item? Yeah, they're trying to scam you 99.9% uh, .9 of the time when you, somebody's trying to get you to contact them off platform. It's just a trap. They're trying to then um, get you to do a deal off the platform, which they won't follow through with the payment on it. Um, and you'll ship them the item and you won't get paid. So I would just ignore that. Uh, eBay doesn't allow any kind of content or Poshmark doesn't allow eBay either. It doesn't allow any kind of communication off platform about items that are posted on the platform. It's a good way to get your account pulled, by the way. So do not send them any emails and do not respond to that message. Just ignore it. This is for my Patriots fans, size 2XL V-neck, Super Bowl champions. Which one is that? Does that mean it's a LV? Is that 53, Super Bowl 53? I don't know what year that one was. Maybe somebody knows. McIntyre plaid, thank you, Reisner. Sales shed with the only vote, nobody else voted. So the question was, is this going up on whatnot or eBay? It's going to perform and it will be eBay, Poshmark, Grail, all the things. But is this going up on those platforms or is it going up on whatnot? eBay or whatnot? Vote down below. It's a size 2XL flannel RL work shirt. Need your votes. It could go well either way. Get your votes in. Get your votes in. We got one for eBay, Tiege eBay, KitKat eBay. And the reason I think about that for uh, whatnot too is I'm trying to bring stuff that's like on brand for me. And flannels are pretty on black brand for me. eBay, okay, clean sweep eBay for that one. It'll sell well on eBay, especially when September 1 hits. Anyone know what year this Super Bowl was? Super Bowl champs? They won so many of them, it's hard to keep track. Tie-dye, and that's on a Majestic Tag 2XL. That's going up on whatnot. The RL will do on eBay since you voted that. That'll go in the eBay bin, but actually this is going to go in the throw it in the wash bin. This has got some spots I gotta wash out. Thank you for the heart me back road cat. Appreciate that. Super kind of you. This is another whatnot piece here. Gosh, you did a lot of whatnots. You put two items in the eBay bin and like 10 in the whatnot bin. Just 
cutting off these tags. It's not ready. Here we go. Okay. So this is kind of a nice retro kind of vintage look. It's not vintage, but it's got like a retro vintage look to it intentionally. And it's on a Disney screen printed tag. This is a 3X. I think that's a 3X women's. I could be wrong about that. We'll measure it. 3X women's maybe. Boy, that's a big shirt though. Let me think here. 26. I think that's a men's 3X. 27. Yeah, that measures like a men's. Let's see how long it is. 31. Yeah, it's a 3X men's on a Disney screen printed tag. Really nice condition. It's just got that vintage look. You think that's women's? It measures exactly like a men's 3X. But it does say 3X. But shoot, it measures just like the, the last two 3X men's t-shirts we had. So what would make it a women's instead of a men's if it measures just like a 3XLT? You know what I mean? I'll take that one. You actually want it? Like you want it, want it? Yeah, measures 27 pit to pit. And 30 length. Let me just double check that one. Yeah, 30 length. 27 by 30 unisex yeah maybe but usually when it says 3x right that typically means it's women specific and 3xl is men specific but it does say 54 56 let me show it to you again either way it's 27 by 30. thank you for the follow Brittany. appreciate that can be unisex thank you for the follow christy c and of course Appreciate everybody who comes in and hangs out every day, especially every morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time when we ship out orders. Today we didn't have orders, so I knew it was time to get listing. So we worked on photos and stuff together. That was fun. So that's the first bag, and I guess I just took one item out of the second bag. Tej, do you want that? Am I putting that aside for you? Women's, men's are normally longer. Okay. 54, 55 are, are men's numbers. So we have a clean split here. Women's would be 22 to 24. Okay. So those are men's numbers. Anyway, it's a 27 by 30. Thanks everyone for chiming in. Do you actually want that tease? Let me know. I'll put it aside. Tease, tease. Was it tease who said that? Yeah, tease said that. Let me know, tease. Yeah, if you guys ever wanted any of these items before they get listed, let me know. The only time I can't give sell an item to you before it's listed is if it's on a Tuesday, 1 p.m. Eastern time live thrift because everything people show up to that uh, with the expectation that everything I find is going up on on whatnot that night. So I don't want somebody to be able to buy one of those items then when someone's like, well, what the heck? I would have bought it too, but I was waiting. I was playing by the rules, waiting for it to go up on whatnot tonight. But that's the only time. But these ones, it's fine. A little bit on it. Let's do it. The fight. Okay, that's fine. Either way, uh, I don't know when that'll go up on whatnot. That's just going up in the whatnot bin. Yeah, that's part of the fun for sure. Uh, this is a really, this is one of the nicer pieces. Mountain Khaki is a really high end. It's an expensive brand. You find these at like REI. The resale per value isn't always great on these, but this is super on brand for Mountain Khaki. So this is what people are looking for that shop this brand. It's a flannel shirt. It's super, super soft. It's got the nice metal buttons. 2XL men's on this. Freaking awesome colors on this flannel. This is like Chris at peak classic right here. 2XL, relaxed fit. Um, probably I'd call this a mid-weight flannel. Not heavy, but not light, somewhere in between. The inside's kind of interesting. It might be a cotton blend. Nope, 100% cotton. Really nice, comfy shirt. This is sick. Um, I need a decision on this one, too. Is this Whatnot or eBay? Vote down below. It's a Mountain Khaki 2XL flannel. Really nice piece. Really nice condition, too. Is this going on Whatnot or is that going on eBay? I'm either It's going to do well either place. eBay, eBay, Whatnot. Get the boat soon. It's going to be close on this one, I think. That Mickey's going up on Whatnot. That flannel going up on whatnot on eBay. The balance, this is a, democ a pure democracy. Whatever gets the most votes, eBay, eBay, whatnot, eBay, whatnot, eBay. It's really close. Thank you, language lady. For the heart me, I appreciate that a lot. eBay, eBay. We'll cut off the votes here and uh, get 10 seconds to get your vote in. Brenda's the last vote I see. eBay, eBay. Two, three, four, five. 
one, two, two for whatnot. Okay, Let's wait a couple more seconds to get those votes in. It looks like eBay is going to take this one. Looks like eBay is going to take this one. Bebe, we could put it up on Bebe, whatever that is, sales shed. Afternoon sales shed, hope you're well. Brenda, hope you're doing well too. Language ladies in the house. Scoby shop is in the house too, nice. The whole gang, appreciate you hanging out. The Bay of E, Amanda with the creativity. All right, to put the nail in the coffin with the witty response. This next one, I did a, I did a RLX golf polo on whatnot this past week. I like getting golf polos up there. I try to get a couple of them every week. So I'm indifferent on this one. RLX sells really well on eBay and Poshmark. But I could see this doing really well on whatnot too. Either way, this is gonna sell well. Really great colorway on this one. Nice pattern. RLX size XL. No country club logo on this one. And no big RLX hit. The only RLX hit is on the sleeve. A subtle little RLX hit right there on one sleeve. Nothing on the back. Just plain striped polyester spandex. Classic golf polo. Great brand RLX. So I'm going to need a boat on this one. Listing and listening. Good evening, 929. 929 is back. Got to make my listing goals. I like it. I like it. So talk to me. RLX, is this going up on whatnot or eBay? I could go either way with it. So we'll just go pure democracy. Whatever you want to do, I'll do. You tell me which bin it's going into. We sold one of these on whatnot this past week. I can check what sale price it was too. That might help with this decision. Uh, shipments, no, orders. I see the boats rolling in. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to look at them in a second. I really appreciate them. I just want to see what that RLX sold for. I never know what everything's selling for during the lot, the show. It just happens so fast. It's hard to pay attention. But I appreciate all the orders, by the way. Give me that RLX. There it is. Sold for 21, and that was a size medium plane. This one's a 2X, or sorry, a single X in stripes. This is a, a slightly more valuable one. So 21 is about the market value. Uh, maybe 25 is the market value for that medium blue one. So it sold a little bit under market value, but whatnot, 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 whatnot. Okay, that's a clean sweep. Y'all made that easy for me. Thank you. Uh, in the whatnot pile, RLX. I try to get a couple of nice golf polos in for every show. This one could go either way too, but I think y'all are going to know from the look of my face where I want this one to go because this one's super fun. Hey, Kavina, I appreciate the, uh, and thanks everyone for your votes. That's helpful. I see y'all's votes. Every event, clean sleep for whatnot for that one. So just got back from the thrift store. If you're just joining, we're going through the hall and making decisions if this is going on eBay and Poshmark or if this is going to go on a future whatnot show. Santa's helper. <laughs> the votes are already rolling in. Uh, this is on a signal artware tag. I'm not familiar with that tag. Signal artware. And I don't know what size it is. Um, that's a good question. Well, no size tag that I can see. I don't even see where one would have been cut out. So we're gonna measure it up. Seeing what not, what not, a bunch of exclamation points that counts as multiple votes, right, if you do that. So pit to pit, this is 24. And length it is 29. So in a sweatshirt, that's gonna be like a size extra large. And it's got the really boxy fit shoulders. So the shoulders are actually wider or as wide as the pit to pit. So really kind of boxy classic fit on this. Call it an XL. Looks like, yeah, I call it an XL based on the measurements and a very kind of boxy, that classic look where the shoulder, shoulder length is this, or width is the same. Actually the shoulder width is wider. It's 27 and a half shoulders. So very boxy fit XL, definitely whatnot. Okay. 
Am I waiting until the holiday season for that, or are we doing Christmas in July on that? I can find space in that upcoming show. Yeah, if any one of these that you're like super psyched about, we can get it in the next show. I still have some, I still have some room in that show. Eh, no, um, I don't really have any room in that show. Unless you really, really wanted something. We can put it in the week after a show, which I'm loading up today too. If you want to see everything that's loaded in my next show, if you want to bookmark the next show, I'd love to have you. It's to this Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. I have the next four shows all set up and whatnot. If you're new to whatnot, I have a link in my profile. It gets you $15 credit for free. And you can use it on my show. You can use it on Vanessa's show. It doesn't matter. Thanks to everybody for those votes. Definitely whatnot on those. Here's a Carhartt piece. Carhartt does well on whatnot. It does well on eBay and Poshmark too. But people seem to like the Carhartts. This is a size large men's loose fit. I never picked one of these up before. I never come across one. So a uh, heavy cotton sweatshirt. It's got the freaking pocket on the chest, which I think is really cool with the Carhartt hit. Plain back, crew neck sweatshirt, heavy Carhartt. Uh, I'll take a vote on this one too. Carhartt, men's large, loose fit, crew neck sweatshirt, heavy, heavy cotton, classic look to it. Is this whatnot piece or is this eBay? eBay, Poshmark, you get the idea. Let me know down below in the chat. Cool, I like it. Whatnot or eBay for that one. 929 is back. I absolutely love Christmas. Need him. Well, Cruz and Anna, if you want, if you want him, we can get you him too. You don't have to wait to whatnot if you don't want to. If you're ready to go, we're red. I'm ready to go too. Whatnot, whatnot. eBay, eBay, eBay. Oh, okay. eBay on the car heart. I was thinking, y'all, we're gonna go whatnot on that. eBay. Okay. eBay, I'll give you a five more seconds or so to get your votes in. eBay or whatnot for this car heart. And then we'll close it up. Size large, super heavy cotton. eBay. Okay. I wasn't expecting y'all to see that. Y'all surprised me, but that's why I ask because I was in between on some of these things. So that's it, that's the whole bag. We got one, <laughs> we didn't put much on eBay. One, two, three items on eBay. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 items and 21, 22, 23 items for whatnot. That's hilarious. Uh, that is hilarious. Noise. Well, I'm going to put all those into the whatnot bin. And actually, I got to start lining up. I'm lining up shows so far out right now. So right now I have boxes and bins set up for, we already did the first two shows. Show three is hanging in the closet. Show four is hanging in the other closet. Show five is in that box, right? Where is that box? Oh yeah, right there, box. Show five is in that box. Show six is in that box. And then I don't have a show seven box yet, but I just have a big bin of like other stuff for future shows. So setting up the shows, getting organized, trying to find cool stuff for all. Uh, all right. Well, that's all I got. I'm going to sign off. I appreciate y'all's help. It's always fun. I guess it's probably true for all of us, right? It's fun to get home from the thrift store and be like, Hey, look what I found. So we got to do that and we made some decisions together and I appreciate that. I'll see you again tomorrow. I'm going to be live 9 30 AM Eastern time shipping orders. And we do actually have some orders today. Things are waking up. I hope they're waking up on your end too. If they were sleeping at all, what do we got to, for orders? I got two Ebays, got some offers too that I've countered with today. So that's positive. I feel like I just sold a Posh, just sold a Poshmark bundle of three items. So that's nice. And, oh, I got another Poshmark sale too. Cool. So two Poshmark sales, two eBay sales. One of the Poshmarks is a bundle. I have a notification on Grail. What is this? Oh, just kidding. It gives me notifications when I get paid for items on Grail. So I get excited like I got an offer or something. So yeah, we'll at least have four items or four orders, six items to ship tomorrow. So that's exciting. Quick reminder too, look at all this coffee. We just got the coffee delivery today. Todd from Dynamite came by and we have a whole bunch of coffee, freshy fresh, ready to go out the door. So 
uh, the link in the bio, chrisatpeak.com. Get your coffee orders in. As always, if you order coffees during the live, whenever I'm live, as long as I'm not at the thrift store, we will ship this stuff out on right then. It's the max amount of items you'd list on whatnot. Uh, per show, it depends. I, we're still figuring out our, um, still figuring, like, you know, Kim just got added to the team this past week. So I'm trying to figure out uh, what are we going to do? Is it going to be everything 22nd uh, sudden death? Are we going to mix it up a little bit? And I want to see like, what's a 50 item show look like? Like, what can we get the timing down? Last week was kind of weird too, because not only was it the first show with Kim, we had 16 giveaways. So that kind of, we had 44 items, but auctions, but also 16 giveaways. So we technically had 60 items. Um, so yeah, I just want to see, I want to keep the show around an hour. Uh, my usual shows around an hour and just um, see what the right number of items and what's like the right timeline and stuff. So it'll, it'll be a work in progress. So I'll, I'll be tinkering with it. So I don't, I hope that answers your question. I don't have an answer yet, but I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it. What do you think, Vanessa? What's your kind of, what's your maximum number of items? What you're thinking? I know you're probably early in the game too, but what's your, uh, what's your brain telling you? If you're not following, by the way, I'd love to have you follow and you can click on my name and you can go to all my other socials. I'm Chris at Peak everywhere, including on YouTube and including on whatnot. So if you haven't followed here on TikTok or here on Facebook or YouTube, I'd appreciate that. If you haven't tapped the screen for the like or whatever the buttons are on whatever platform you're on, if you haven't hit that like button, that helps me out too. But yeah, uh, I'm going to sign off for now. Nick Smith Chow. I'll see you tomorrow, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. Peace. Yeah, that helps. I'm too many T's. I had 36 plus three giveaways. Exactly. Sick. I like that timing. 36 plus three is one hour. Nice. And I think you could probably tighten it up with some reps too. Peace. Hey, Kelsey, I'm signing off right now. I got a message to you in, my, uh, in your inbox, by the way. Bye. I've said bye like three times. Now I actually have to do it. They'll keep popping in with questions. I love it. Where I got to go? Gots to go.